This is a huge trade agreement that's being negotiated in secret right now. It's been going on for more than three years and it's bigger than NAFTA. It's called NAFTA on steroids because this agreement is about much more than trade. It's actually about giving corporations all of the kinds of policies that they've wanted for a number of years but haven't been able to get passed through the front door in Congress. It gives them transnational corporations the power to sue nations if their laws that protect the environment, people, or workers affect their bottom line, affect their profits. And so, in fact, the Trans-Pacific Partnership will enable corporations to change our laws even down to the local level. It's going to affect things like food safety, the cost of medications, wages, internet freedom, poisoning of the environment, all of these things that we are concerned about will be affected by the Trans-Pacific Partnership in a negative way. So we're trying to stop it. They've kept the text of this document secret. In fact, they've classified it, which is unheard of for previous trade agreements. Members of Congress have limited access to it. The public has no access to it. But more than 600 corporate advisors have real-time access to the text as it's being negotiated so they can make suggestions. What we know is information that's been leaked from chapters that have been leaked, as well as statements in trade meetings. What we've seen so far looks very concerning, and in fact, one member of Congress, Alan Grayson, did see some summaries of the text and said this was a threat to our national sovereignty and that it shouldn't, it, he couldn't tell us anymore because it was classified. The president has asked Congress to give him fast track, which means that he would have the ability to negotiate and sign this agreement, and then only later would it go to Congress for an up or down vote. No democratic process, no hearings, no testimony, no amendments, just an up or down vote. And this is really taking away Congress's constitutional responsibility to oversee trade. And we'll keep that information from being shared with the public of what is exactly in it. Similarly, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which is actually a backdoor to the WTO agreement, because since the battle in Seattle in 1999, WTO has not been able to move forward as they'd like with their agenda. So this is a backdoor way for them to get that agenda in. And it will mean that even down to the local levels, our laws will have to be in compliance with an agreement that's being negotiated in secret that we won't even have the full knowledge of what's in it. So um, this is concerning, as I said, food safety. It's going to weaken our food safety standards. It will we'll prevent uh, labeling so that we won't know where our food came from or whether it contains GMOs. It extends patent protections for pharmaceutical corporations that will keep our medication prices high. You know, it, these are the things, like if you don't like SOPA, the internet privacy uh, law that was tried to they tried to pass in Congress and were unsuccessful, the SOPA provisions are being placed into the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Now is the time because the President has asked for fast track and so Congress has to vote in both houses to give that to him and if he gets fast track then it's basically a done deal. He can sign it and it's done. Our job is to stop fast track. We believe that we can do it. We know that 14 trade agreements have been stopped in the past decade or so by public pressure. We know that there's a bipartisan coalition in Congress already forming to oppose fast track. So now is really the time as, as the TPP is getting much more um, attention. This is time for us to really keep that pressure up. Just uh, this past week, the AFL-CIO came out with a strong resolution against the TPP. So the pressure is, is mounting. And if we continue to build that pressure, we can stop this agreement.